Hi there guys, I'm Miguel from Ready Tech and this is the unboxing of the Redmi 6. Now this is a successor to the Redmi 5 and unlike its predecessors, it actually brings a lot of cool things or at least new things. Now it comes with a dual camera setup and for the first time Xiaomi shifted to the MediaTek processor and this also comes with a dedicated SD card slot unlike other or the unlike previous Redmi 5. So let's unbox it and see what we get right out of the box. So guys, this is the box and we have a quick preview of how the phone looks from the front and the different colors it's available in. Now at the top it says India's number one brand, on the right side we have the Xiaomi's name, at the bottom it says Redmi 6 by Xiaomi. Now on the left side we have just the phone's name, on the right side as well. At the top we have some shipping information. Now on the back we have some highlighting features, made in India sticker, IMEA number, color and storage variant. I have the gold color with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. Now without any further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. Now Xiaomi is selling this phone in two variants. Base variant is priced at 8000 rupees for 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. Next variant is priced at 9500 rupees for 3GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. It is available online exclusively on Flipkart and MI.com. It's available in four colors, black, blue, gold and rose gold. Rose gold color is not available right now and should be available in a month or two. Now on Flipkart, we might be able to find only two colors, that's the black and gold. So guys, at the top we have the phone itself, let me just put that aside for now. Next we have some documentation, a user guide and probably a warranty card. Next we have the 5W power adapter, which is 5V at 1A, so charging will be kinda slow on this phone. Next we have the regular micro USB charging cable and the SIM card ejector pin. And that's the final one. There are no earphones as usual, now let's come back to the phone. Now this is the phone and this is how it looks on the front and back. We have some stickers with some highlighting features like the dual camera setup, Helio P22 processor and the display size. Let me just peel that off. Now on the back once again we have the sticker with IMEA numbers, a warning sign and quick pictures about the SIM card trays. Let me just remove that as well. Now this is how the phone looks on the back and this is how the phone looks on the front. And this is the gold color and that was the only one available on the first sale on Flipkart. Now let's have a quick physical overview and then check out the specs. Now this phone has a complete plastic body with a nice metal matte finish which definitely gives it a very premium look and on the sides it has this tapered edges which makes it look slimmer. Now at the top it has a dual camera setup with a 12 megapixel primary camera with f2.2 aperture followed by a 5 megapixel secondary camera for depth sensing and a single LED flash. Now following that is the fingerprint scanner, MI branding at the bottom and a speaker grill. Now on the front it is a 5.45 inch IPS display with HD plus resolution, 295 ppi with a new 18 to 9 aspect ratio which makes the display a bit taller. Now the bezels on this phone are pretty huge and definitely doesn't justify the word full view display. Anyway going on next, above the display we have the 5 megapixel front facing camera with f2.2 aperture, earpiece and some sensors. At the bottom it is completely plain. Now on the right side it has a power and volume buttons which have a nice clicky feel to them. At the top we have the secondary microphone for noise cancellation and a 3.5mm audio jack. At the bottom we have the micro USB charging port and the primary microphone. And on the left side we have the two SIM card trays that houses two nano SIM slots along with a dedicated SD card slot. Now that's the physical overview. Now coming to internal specifications. This phone sports a MediaTek Helio P22 processor built using 2 nm architecture with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage with a 3000mAh battery running MIUI 9 based on Android 8.1 audio. This phone will be getting MIUI 10 pretty soon. Now with all this, this phone has a thickness of 8.3mm and weighs just 146 grams. Now let me turn on the phone and set it up and see what we get right out of the box. By the way guys, this phone has a flat display, there is no 2.5D curved glass so it doesn't look all that premium and the display surface isn't very smooth but you can easily put a good tempered glass on it. So that's an advantage with a flat display. Now even the display is well protected with this plastic strip running around and even the entire body, that's the back panel, is extended beyond the display. So even if you drop your phone, as long as it doesn't fall on its face, the display should be pretty safe. Now the phone is turned on, let me just quickly set it up. By the way, these are all the languages that are available and it seems like regional languages like Telugu, Tamil are also available. So if you want to use any other languages like Hindi, you can also go with that. Let me just select English and just skip ahead. Now I'm just going to register the fingerprint. By the way, there is a patent lock. That's something some phones are missing. I guess MI A2 doesn't come with a patent lock. So let me just add that. 
Now it's time to register the fingerprint and the fingerprint reader is working pretty well and so far haptic feedback is also pretty good. Now I'm done. By the way, this phone also has face unlock feature. I'll show you that in a minute. So guys, this is how the phone looks once we turn it on. And this is just the regular MIUI. We don't have an app drawer, so all the apps are thrown to the home screen. If you really want an app drawer, you can install the POCO launcher from Play Store, which is seen in the POCO F1. Now let me just change a few settings so I can see memory usage on the status bar. So guys, out of that 3 gigabytes of RAM, we get about 1.7 gigabytes of free RAM right out of the box. Now let's check the free storage. By the way, it seems like we already got an update right after the boot. So let me just give you a quick information about that. It is quite a big update, about 400 megabytes and camera optimization has improved. We'll get the August security patch and many more. So let me just check the other stuff. Now coming to storage, out of that 32 gigabytes of storage, we get about 23.5 GB of free space for our user apps and user data. By the way, this phone has a dedicated SD card slot, so you really don't have to worry about storage. You can install all the apps you want on the internal storage and move all your files to your SD card. Now coming to about phone. Now this is the about page. This phone is currently running MIUI version 9.6 right out of the box based on Android 8.1.0, that's Oreo. Right now it has the June security patch, but as you have seen, it already has got the latest security patch as well. Now coming to the camera interface, this is how it looks like. Now this is exactly the same camera interface we have been seeing on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, Mi A2 and all the latest Redmi phones. Now on the right side we have the portrait mode, because of the dual camera setup, edge detection should be pretty good. Now unlike other phones, especially Redmi phones that were launched earlier, this phone even offers electronic image stabilization while video recording. Now this is probably the only phone under 10,000 rupees that offers electronic image stabilization. So that's a pretty great thing. By the way, you need to enable this particular toggle for it to work. Now coming to video resolution, we can record video at a maximum of 1080p. There is no 4K option. Now this is the interface for the front facing camera and we even have portrait selfies. So that's pretty great. By the way guys, cameras on this phone won't be the strongest point. So if you want better selfies or better cameras on the whole, you should consider phones like Realme 2 or the Redmi 6 Pro or even the Redmi Y2. Anyway, these are the pictures taken using the front and rear cameras. Now let's test the fingerprint scanner. Now the fingerprint scanner is fast. It is not super fast but pretty fast and probably the fastest fingerprint scanner under 10,000 rupees. Now let's test the face unlock but before that just give me a second to set it up. Let's add the facial data. Now it's time to remove my glasses. Usually most phones or most phones that offer face unlock doesn't work well with glasses on especially if you are trying to register. Now once you have added your facial data, make sure you enable this toggle so face unlock works even in low lighting conditions. Now let's test it out. Now the phone is locked and it unlocks. It is not super fast like the Realme 2 or Realme 1. It works and you can show off with it but not so great. Now the phone is probably taking like a second or half a second to unlock the phone, which is pretty okay, it is kinda usable. Now let's see if it works in complete darkness. Now it's pitch black, there isn't any light in the room. And it works but it is taking a lot of time, like probably 2-3 to three seconds. Now let me check if it works even with closed eyes and it isn't. So if your eyes are closed it doesn't work. Now let me try it with my glasses on and it works even with my glasses on. So that's pretty great. It's pretty usable I must say. So guys on the whole fingerprint scanner is pretty fast and face unlock also works in good lighting conditions and even in low lighting conditions but it is not super fast. That's like a small con. Now let's test the speaker loudness.
So guys, speaker on this phone is definitely loud, sufficient for media consumption as well. But because of the placement that's on the back, when you place your phone directly on its back, audio intensity or the speaker loudness is definitely getting reduced. I don't think you will have any problem with ringtones and alarms, but it's better you to but it's better to put your phone directly on its face most of the time. Get a good tempered glass and a good case and you can put your phone directly on its face most of the time. Now before I conclude, these are the anti2 and Geekbench scores. So guys, this is the new Redmi 6. When compared to the last generation that's the Redmi 5, it's definitely an improvement. They brought in a lot of new things like the dual camera setup, dedicated SD card slot, and you know it even has the face unlock feature. But when we compare it with this phone, that's the Realme 2, which is sold at the exact same price, which comes with a bigger battery, bigger display, and the display with the notch, with way smaller bezels than this phone, I really find it hard to suggest you this phone or even think about buying this phone when we have this phone like when we have realme 2 as an alternative so guys what do you think will you consider buying this phone just for the brand sake or will you go with the realme 2 for a bigger better display with bigger battery do let me know by commenting below this video and if you are planning to buy any of these phones use the link in the description it really helps the channel and if you want us to make any specific video tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible i'm nikhil from greedy tech signing off have a nice day